Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Hotel, hotel. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Welcome to another edition of Zips Weekly. I'm your host, Scott Nixon. Today I'm here with men's golf coach, David Trainer. How are you doing today? I'm good, you? I'm doing excellent. We'll just start off with a recap of the spring season and the progression you've seen. Uh, we've had a good spring. Uh, started off obviously coming out of the winter months. It's always hard. We had a great winter this year, which made it a little bit easier. Um, we had guys play well right from the gate and we, um, we did well right, right, right from the get-go and we progressively got better as the year went on. Um, <clears throat> Uh, played, as always, a very, very hard schedule. We see a lot of top competition, a lot of top 50, top 10, um, top 10 teams that, um, you know, I give my guys the best, um, the best possible uh, scenario to see where their game stands up, and we've played, we've played well. And then this week, big week, you got the MAC championship upcoming. How are you guys preparing? Is it any different from a normal week of practice? Not really. Um, yeah, it is the biggest tournament of the year. Um, conference championship, this is where, you know, this is it. It's uh, this is for all the marbles. But um, obviously, the goal is to win. The, the conference is very deep this year. Um, you know, Kent State is still the team to beat. They they always are. They're always very good. Uh, but I like to downplay it. You know, this is if you, sometimes you can just you can want something too much. And I don't want to go in there and almost be deflated. I want to kind of go in there. We've had a couple weeks rest. We've prepared well. Um, team that's going is playing well so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much and best of luck to you this weekend. Now let's check out other news in Zips Athletics this week. Zips Softball, they had a three game home series against the Bowling Green Falcons. In game one, Aaron Seiler in the circle. She does her thing going seven innings, only allowing five hits and striking out six. The Zips get it done and they win this one five to nothing. Gabrielle Fredericks was two for four with a two run RBI double. Game two gets started off here with an Aaron Seiler strikeout. And then here's a shot to center field, but Savannah Fruin robs her of a base hit. Look at the glove work there. And then Lily Piper comes in and gets her first career RBI. It wouldn't be enough as the Zips fell 9-5. to five. Lily Piper was 2-4 for four with an RBI. Game three was the rubber match. Zips looking to win the series. And then a hard hit ball to Caitlin Gambone, but she tags third and throws to first for the double play. And then Carly Childress with a shot to the fence. Two runners would score. Falcons would score four in the sixth to win five to three. The Zips are 26, 20, and one on the year. Zips tennis, final match of the season up in Bowling Green. They sweep the Falcons seven nothing. They improve their record to 15 and nine on the season. Zips track and field at the LSU Alumni Invitational. Claudia Garcia Jow, first place in the high jump. And Clayton Murphy captured first place in the 1500 meters. At the Jesse Owens Classic, Phil Yeagers took first place in the discus. And finally, to wrap it up for the Women's Golf MAC Championships, the Zips finished sixth place overall with a program best score of 905 strokes. Danielle Nicholson won the event. The freshman finished with a five under par score, and that is why she's this week's Student Athlete of the Week, presented by the University of Akron.